Asha outings. You don't need to wait till it's her birthday or your birthday or a particular celebration before you take your wife out. Some men forget that after every wedding comes a marriage. And some of you, you 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 stop toasting your wives after marriage. Oh, she's got four kids now. Oh, everything is fine now. Please keep the dates. Special outings are quite refreshing and educative. Go on vacation if you can afford it. If you can travel abroad, why not? As soon as there's no COVID, and we trust God that it will be over very soon. Why not? Even if you can't afford to go abroad, check in into an hotel, take with your wife, get someone to babysit for you, spend two, three days together. I remember when, you know, my husband will, will sack the drivers, quote and unquote, and he would drive myself and the kids to places, very far places. Sometimes we are on the road, you know, we just go, get to a place, we check into an hotel, we spend two days, we take off again. One day in Nigeria, we went to what a place called Obudu Ranch. Oh, I can never forget. Loaded the, the, the car, you know, the SUV with all sorts. We just just him. He was telling us his life history. We were, you know, and all that. We can't forget. The children are all married now, but they can't forget. So please, special outings. Don't wait till it's a birthday. Book some whatever, you know. Sometimes tell her, you're not cooking today, babes. You're not cooking today at all. I just ordered pizza or I ordered something. Make your wife feel special. Make her feel special. Never allow romance to grow wings and fly out of your marriage. It is important. Once in a while, check up on her in the kitchen. Tickle her. Let her feel that she's still important to you. Hmm. Number nine, be a visionary. Every woman is created to look up. That's the way God created us. No matter the money a woman has, no matter how wealthy, no matter how blessed a woman is, you know, is she still wants to look up to her husband for leadership, for wealth, for direction, for what have you. So be a visionary. You must be a man that knows the way and how to get there. You can't, you can't remain a tenant for, 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 for 25 years. No, you can't. Don't tell me, but I earn only 5,000. Put things together, even if it's one room. You know, be a visionary. Stretch. Do more than a job. Yes, your wife can support you. Your wife can join you. But you can just sit down there and say, where well, was gonna be when I be? Ah, it's going to be all right. No, 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 no. Every woman wants a man that knows the way and how to get there. Not trial and error. And then you fall today, stand up tomorrow. But, but by concrete leadership foresight. Concrete leadership foresight. You know, this is the time we can run now. My dear, let's not eat with ten fingers. This is my, my husband's words. And I'm glad that he led me and the children that way. Today I can look back and say, ah, I thank God we didn't eat with ten fingers. So, because the time is coming when you will no longer be able to run around. So please be a visionary. That's how to make your wife feel special. No woman wants to follow a blind husband. Band. No, 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 not at all. Please be a visionary. Number 10, be responsible and followable. Be responsible and followable. Be responsible and be followable. Take decisions and accept responsibilities. Stop giving excuses for failure. Stop watching your wife grow and build her life while you sit there and you're just watching. She's bringing the money home. She's bringing the food home. One day she's going to tell you, as I'm going out now, don't finish the beans. So, because if you're not careful, she might, it's not right, but she might become edgy and she might begin, you know, to be disrespectful. No, please. I beg of you, take decisions and accept responsibilities. It is your responsibility as a man, dear husband, to take care of your family. Decent accommodation, clothing, prompt payment of school fees. There are certain things that you won't even allow your wife to do. 
Like you, you just won't allow your ego. Every man has an ego. You won't just allow her. You will trust God and you will stretch. You will, you know, my husband is a full-time minister of the gospel, but he's equally a full-time business person. I met him as a businessman. My husband would sell envelopes, he would sell printing materials, he's into farming, he would do this and that. And he would say to me, I took you from your father's house to take care of you. To take care of you. Yes, that's what it should be. Yes, your wife can help you, your wife can support you, but don't, don't be a parasite on your wife. It is not a man thing. You should not be leaning, depending on your wife for everything. Until she does it, it is not done. No, 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 no. Please be responsible and be followable. There are things that must be basic as a man so that your respect and your honor will be retained. Ways to make your wife feel special, dear husband. Number 11, value your wife. Place high premium on your wife. Value her. Do not treat your wife as a second class citizen. Do not. Do not allow her to be treated as a second class citizen. Please, stop these threats. It is, it is demonic. When you are angry, you will back out of this house today. Today you will go back to your father's house. What? What? Uh, 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 uh. It demeans you. Sometimes when I watch some movies and I see the man go inside the house and then he brings one bag or one suitcase and I'm, and, and I'm asking myself, how old is the marriage? So this is all the woman has in 15 years. What about the knives in the kitchen? And the spoons? And the, and the shirts she bought for you? Excuse me, dear husband, no. Never, never. It is, it is a language of the weak. Is the language of irresponsible husbands. Is the language of insecure husbands. Is the language of boys, forty-year-old boys. You we go back to your father's house today. Mature men don't say that. No, no, no. Get value on your wife. Don't treat her as a second-class citizen. I remember when I, our marriage was about one year plus. I had an issue one time. Somebody was going to be funny. The way my husband rose up like a lion. Till tomorrow, I said to him, you will never lack honor. As far as Hunter Felix Adejum is concerned, I will always honor you. Because you rose up. You stood up for me. You know, defend her. Let people know that, ah, don't touch his wife, oh. Yes, even your siblings sometimes they will want they will want to say some things and do some things. Stand up as a man. That is your home. You are the keeper. My husband says you are the covering. Don't beat your wife. Must not beat your children. You are the covering. Be the man, dear husband. Be the man and defend your wife. You may sometimes eventually take your wife inside and tell her, Look, I only defended you. You too, your mouth was running. It's too much. You will go apologize, but I needed to stand you know for you please stand for your wife you will never finish with pain from the honor she will give you number 12 be appreciative when last did you wake your wife up at 2 a.m just to thank her just to say you know when we got married no woman would have wanted me because I didn't look like what I am today. Thank you. When last did you wake her up to say thank you for how you covered? You just covered that, that school fees. I know the children didn't even know that you were the one that sent it. Thank you. Thank you for everything you did while we were building this house. Thank you. When last did you thank your wife? When last, please be appreciative. Your wife cooked. And in her bid to satisfy you, she added too much sauce or too much salt. And while you are eating the meal, it's too salt. It's a you want to kill me in this house? Mm -mm. All you need to do is, hi honey, I noticed a bag of salt under the staircase when I was <laughs> checking the last time. I'm sure you just opened it. This still is too she, she will get the message and then you know everybody laughs she takes it back it may be rice it may be stew she cuts potato or yam 
puts inside, sings it. Before you know it, it absorbs it, and then she brings it back to you. She's not your slave. Please appreciate her. When you make love to your wife, don't just slip off on her. Thank her. Thank you. Thank you for giving your body to me. Thank you. When your wife picks your pen that drops, and she gives it back to you, even your kids, thank her. Thank your children. Be very, very appreciative. Be appreciative. A clean house is hard work. Even if you have house helps, housekeepers, she supervised. The woman is the manager of, in the house. So appreciate her. Please be appreciative. Appreciate her for who she is. Appreciate her for what she does. Appreciate her for the meals. Your wife should be told and shown that you appreciate her. Commend her efforts. Appreciate her inputs. Care for her. Pay her a courtesy call in the kitchen. Offer assistance. Touch her while she's in the kitchen. She's sweat, you know, sweating and all that. Please be there. Even if the children are there, even if house helps are there, show an example. Appreciate your wife. Value your wife. Place high premium on her. A woman is very fragile. Be sensitive to her needs. Provide for her needs. A woman is complex. Please handle her with care. Dear husband, number 14, beg your pardon, number 13, do not flirt around. One of the greatest pains a woman can experience in her lifetime is infidelity or adultery from her husband. Maybe the, maybe the, the closest to it or the more painful is the death of a child and we all trust God that we never experience that. A man that runs around after everything is scared is not a worthy husband. Please, dear husband, don't flit around. Biologically speaking, there is nothing any woman has that your wife does not have. It's all in packaging. It's all in packaging. It's all in packaging. Biologically speaking, every woman is the same. So package your wife. Package her. When I met my husband, I wasn't wearing jewelry. I wasn't wearing makeup. But I dressed to please three people. God, my husband, and myself. Every other person is in noise of the market. My husband told me how he wanted me to dress. And he will buy jeans and tell me this is what I wanted to wear. And I'm happy. I'm, I'm 57 and I'm proud to say it. I'm a grandmother of almost eight grandchildren. I'm very proud to say it. Package your wife. Help her. Every spouse is a raw material. Just like you're a raw material in her hand, she's a raw material in, her, in your hand. The word success comes before the word hard work only in the dictionary so you put in what you want to see in your spouse please i beg of you don't flirt around one woman told me that her husband stayed with almost all the house helps their husband mm -mm. different kinds of ailments illness and diseases all around now you can't afford to do it you cannot afford to do it sex is beyond the physical it's more than a physical thing you are joined to whoever you are making or having sex with so please i beg of you don't implicate your family do not implicate your family it is not the best thing please be godly some of you are full of commendation outside and condemnation inside hello secretary hello mrs hello when you're in the office everybody knows you play around with everybody but when you are home your wife is trying to wear her short necker wear his spaghetti top just for you make her hair do everything you won't even notice you are busy watching us now i'm an asthma fan you know you are busy watching no 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 it's not right please stop flitting around and don't say when well, i didn't sleep with the person stop flitting around around their husband stop flitting around please their husband 14th way of making your wife feel special avoid comparison 
Stop comparing your wife to another. No two people are the same. No two marriages are the same. Your wife is your wife. Teach her. What is perfect? Teach her what you want. Show her. Express your desire for improvement. But please don't demoralize her. I remember one time my husband had to intervene. You know, a couple had a challenge. There was a meeting. The wife sings. And at that meeting, another lady, another singer, you know, she sang. And on their way home, the other one was just saying, ah, that woman sang. Oh, that woman sang. Oh, ah, that woman sang. Never acknowledging the, the wife. Ah, that woman. Oh, that woman. And suddenly the woman said, go and marry her then. Eventually they ended up, you know, in her house. And I had to sort it out and all that. Stop comparing. Stop comparing your wife with your mother. Your mother too has her weaknesses. She's made her mistakes. And her, your father tolerated her. So please, hey, ah, this is not how my, my, my mother prepares for no. You need to learn from my mother. You go learn and come and teach your wife. Please, I beg of you, stop comparing. Teach her and don't use her weaknesses against her. Number 15, ways to make your wife feel special. Be available. Dear husband, be available. Where I live, the state where I live, I had that one man died. Do not say I told you. And the children removed all the car keys and the house keys and they placed the bunch on the man's chest in the casket and said, Daddy, you forgot your keys. Oh, too bad. Some of you are workaholic. You walk, 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 walk until they give you a paper and tell you, go home, we don't need you again. But by the time you return, the family has moved. Don't be a workaholic. So bad. That you don't have time for your children or your wife. You may not have quality time, but please create quality time. My husband says the child you nurture will nourish you in the evening of your life. The child you nurture, the marriage you nurture will nourish you in the evening of your life. Please, some of you husbands, you prefer to spend time with friends, with your jobs with relations, even in clubhouses. Spend time with your wife and children. Please, the time you spend with your wife and your children is an investment. Some of you, you can do that. They will transfer you to where your family is. But just because you want to flirt around, I'm sorry to say that, you just want to stay there. Those ladies you are sleeping with, they are not the ones that will take care of you in the evening of your life. It's your wife and your children. When they finish using you, they will now send the cacas. I've seen things in life. I've seen things. Please, I beg of you. The time you spend with your wife and your children is an investment. For this podcast, I'm going to be talking about the five kinds of fathers. And my husband is going to be talking about the woman in your house. I told you it's going to be an, you know, a monthly thing. It's the first one, and I'm sure you're getting blessed. I'm rounding up very soon. Even if you don't have quantity time, please spend quality time. As busy as God was in heaven. He still visited Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. You can't be as busy as God managing Africa, Asia, America, this, that. You can't be that busy. Please, the child you nurture today will nourish you tomorrow. Number 16, which is very important. Dear husband, know God for yourself. Life is more than the physical. It's a spiritual dimension to life. Please have a personal relationship with God. That relationship will speak in the now and eternity. I'm a woman of faith. I'm a Christian. And I can boldly say that you please invite Jesus to come into your heart. Let him be the Lord and the master of your life and your marriage. He simplifies life. It will surprise you that things that you've been looking for we start looking for you. Yes, there will be challenges in life, but God has a way of helping. So, the spiritual dimension is the success thing I will talk to you about. Pray with your wife. Pray with your family. Pray with your children. Don't just rush out every day and rush in. Hey, I'm busy. I have meetings. That's the more reason why you should pray. Because my husband says some people are not happy that you are happy. And they want to be you. That's your seat. They want it. You need God. You need God. 
Wow! I shared with you 16 solid ways to make your wife feel special with their husband. And I'm so honored to have a space in your space today. Thank you so very much. I want you to know that by God's grace, I have an institute, FFA Institute. I am a certified life coach. I'm not just a pastor's wife. I don't just talk church. You notice that I've not even quoted the Bible. <laughs> but I'm a woman of faith. I don't deny my faith. But I'm raised for Muslims, for Buddhists, for this, for everybody. I am beyond a pastor's wife. I am a certified life coach. And I have a coaching program. I have three actually, but I'm starting one. And it's going to hold on May the 1st. May the 1st. May the 1st. It's a virtual program and it is called The Template. For four hours, I'll be in your space. I'm going to be looking at six areas of your life. Ooh, I'm feeling it. It's going to be an awesome time. Please just go on my website www.funkefelixadejo.org and you will find the link there. Just register. It's not free. You're going to pay. Yes. But just register. You will come back to thank me for attending that coaching class. It's going to be on Zoom. Register on my website. I appreciate you. Thank you for allowing me your space. I'll let you know when next dear husband will be holding, but it's going to be, I'm going to try and make sure it is a monthly event. It's going to be on a Sunday evening, dear husband. If you want me to also say some things to your wife, of course you can DM me or send me a mail on info at funkefixadigimo.org. Wives, if there's any other thing, send me your wish list. Things you want me to tackle, things you want me to talk about. Just that time when I come your way again. God bless you. God keep you. God cause his face to shine upon you. Please go and take care of your marriage. Go and make your wife feel special. We're going to upload these on Facebook and on YouTube so you can go over it again. Leave special notes, make special trips. Touch means a lot to a woman. Be a secure man. Pay special attention. Stop using your wife's past. Learn to listen. Remember special days. Respect your wife. Respect her siblings, her family. Special outings. Be visionary. Be responsible and followable. Value your wife. Don't treat her as a second class citizen. Be appreciative. Don't flirt around, avoid comparison, be available, and know God for yourself. Go on my website and click the link so you can register and be a part of the virtual coaching that is going to take place. The template with FFA on May 1st. God bless you. I appreciate you all. Please have a fantastic, fantastic week ahead and stay safe. God bless you.